Welcome to Heritage Auctions Signature Legends of the Wild West Auction. We're excited to present more than 325 lots of the finest and rarest relics representing the towering personalities that have become the legend of this important era of American history. All items are now open for bidding online at ha.com slash 6079. Our live auction is on June 10th in Dallas. This handsome Stetson with its ribbon trim was purchased as a gift for Annie Oakley by brother-in-law William Butler and was left to her grandniece Billy. Very few of Annie Oakley's garments are known to survive and most of them are in the Garst Museum in Greenville, Ohio, but no other western hat. This is a one-of-a-kind rarity and will be accompanied by a family letter of provenance. We don't know precisely when she obtained this 12-gauge Parker hammer double, but it saw a lot of use. It's almost certainly the gun she used in her first performances at Earl's Court before the crowned heads of Europe in 1887. It's one of the most important of Oakley's showguns, certainly the earliest known of her real guns. This gun will be accompanied by a letter of authentication from expert Paul Fees as well as a family letter of provenance. Buffalo Bill Cody carried and counted on this Civil War issue Remington New Model Army 44 percussion revolver as a plainsman guiding America's frontier army during the Indian Wars. For Christmas 1906, he gave this gun to his longtime best and most trusted friend, Charles Trago, and his wife, Carrie. To accompany it, he wrote the following on his business card. To Charlie and Carrie Trago, this old Remington revolver I carried and used for many years in Indian wars and buffalo killing, and it never failed me. W.F. Cody, December 13, 1906. This artist was described by Buffalo Bill Cody as the greatest painter of Indian portraiture of all times, and we have to agree with that assessment. This marvelous portrait of the Sioux leader was painted in 1882 when the great man was still close to his prime. It is notable for the biographical information and date which Cross has neatly printed in the upper right-hand corner, but particularly for the presence of Sitting Bull's familiar autograph painted in the upper left, below which Cross has noted his own signature. Generally known as a portrait painter, Mulvaney was inspired in 1879 to paint a definitive scene of the Little Bighorn battle in which George Armstrong Custer perished with his entire command. It took two years to complete this amazing 11 by 20 foot painting, which immediately achieved wide recognition and positive reviews. It toured around the United States and Europe for many years, where large crowds paid admission to view it. In storage and out of view for a period of years, Heritage is proud to offer this national treasure to a new generation. This subpoena for one W.P. Neese to appear as a witness was issued in June 1879. Bat Masterson signed off as having received and executed the writ with an entire panel written in his bold handwriting and closing with a wonderful large signature, W.B. Masterson, Sheriff. His signature is quite rare today and this one from his legendary Dodge City days is a very special example indeed. Remember, these are just a few of the Old West relics up for auction on June 10th. For a complete listing and catalog, visit ha.com slash 6079. Thank you and good luck.